Oh hiya gozaimasu Haikyuu fans, I hope everyone is doing well, I'm your host Silent Aloud and today we're gonna cover a topic that has divided the Haikyuu fandom and that is who was actually the better ace, was it Sakusa or Ishijima? Now I've seen this topic mentioned quite often online in reddit forums, facebook pages and people seem to have a multitude of different opinions when it comes to the topic such as Sakusa is a better ace because he's a better all rounder and he participates in receiving, Ushijima is the better ace because he has a higher vertical and he has more power, Sakusa is a better ace because he's the number one ace in the country and has won nationals. Today we're gonna be breaking it down piece by piece from the stats, positions, playstyles and special abilities, by the end of this video and not only are we gonna find out who actually is the better ace but also the better player amongst these two monsters. Before I start, I just wanted to clarify one thing that I'm sure not all people may know and it was definitely not something that I knew when I first started watching Haikyuu and that is the term ace is not an actual position in volleyball, rather it's a nickname or a title given to the best offensive player on the team and the one that scores the most points. In this video there are gonna be spoilers as I'm going to also mention both these players in the you know what if you've read the manga so for those that haven't read the manga I'd suggest you leave the video now now so you don't get spoiled. I'll give you like 2 seconds. Now that all the people that haven't read the manga are out, yo, how fucking sick were the rallies? Tanaka's cut shot against Inorizaki. Tsukishima avoiding the block out. Hinata getting a fucking fever. <laughs> fucking idiot. In this video, I'm going to mention both pre-time skip Sakusa and Ushijima since that gives us more clarity on how good Sakusa actually is. Because as we all know, we didn't really get to see much of him pre-time skip, we just see him as this mysterious guy that's a germaphobe and is apparently the number one ace in the country. When it came to nationals, I did hope to see more of him considering we did see a fair few chapters highlighting Kiryu and even a backstory on him, although it could be possible that since Kiryu was playing Bokoto and Fukurodani, that Furudate Sensei thought they might as well give Kiryu a bit of screen time too. Anyway, to my disappointment, we just see Karasuno losing and next minute Itachiyama just so happens to get eliminated as well without really giving us the chance to see how good Itachiyama or Sakusa actually were which would have been good considering there's so much hype and aura behind this guy and I just wanted to see him you know just getting like maybe a spike or two considering he is the quote unquote number one ace and also the fact that Kageyama called him pretty normal. Let's talk about stats. Age as we all know Sakusa is almost 2 years younger than Ushijima, height is pretty much identical both at 189cm give or take. When it comes to weight I couldn't find any info on Sakusa I only have his weight post time skip. Ushijima on the other hand weighs 85 kilos. Now I don't know about you guys but for someone to be 6'2 weigh 85 kilos and be in high school that's, uh, that's a pretty big individual. Which would explain how Ushijima would literally get points through sheer brute force when he played against Karasuno because he was just that much bigger and stronger than all the other players. Post time skip, both players grew 3 centimeters respectively, Ushijima being taller by 0.5 of a centimeter. We also now get to see the jumping reach, Sakusa at 345 and Ushijima at 350. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Despite practically being the same height, Ushijima has a 5cm jump reach advantage. Now, you might argue and say, yeah, bro, of course, he's an athletic monster. What did you expect? And I agree with you. Ushijima is definitely a monster, and I never really doubted that he would have a higher jump reach than Sakusa. But the thing here is, Ushijima weighs 10 kilos more than Sakusa. 10 fucking kilos. And that is pure muscle mass. That's fucking insane man. Even the real life Ushijima doesn't weigh fucking 90 kilos and Ushijima has a higher jump reach than him. From a purely statistical standpoint, if you were a coach, already knowing what these two players are capable of, you'd pick Ushijima any day of the week to start because he's way stronger, he jumps higher, he has more of a court presence and he can probably block better. But the thing here is you don't have to pick one over the other because they play two completely different positions and I'll get to that in just a bit. So after the time skip, both players are now playing in the V-League Division 1, both players also got selected for the Japan national team for the Tokyo 2021 Olympics and both players are also in the starting lineup. So as you can see these two players are definitely the creme de la creme of players in Japan despite the lineup already being so stacked. It also works out that they're in the starting lineup together as Sakusa and Ushijima don't have the same position and have different roles even though both of them are considered aces. Speaking of positions, out of all the top aces in Haikyuu, Ushijima is the only one that isn't an outside hitter. Rather he plays the position called the opposite which is the same position that Daichi or Osama plays and the reason for that is because he's a southpaw which is a blessing since being left-handed makes it easier for you spike balls if you're on the right side of the court. I'm just gonna quickly differentiate these two positions and explain their roles so we can have a clear idea in our heads what exactly these two players do for their respective teams. The outside hitter is the most consistent hitter on the team and is usually the player that gets the most sets and in the event of a botched receive or a bad first pass it usually results in a set to the outside hitter rather than a middle blocker or the opposite. That's why in Haikyuu whenever they 
they botch a receive, Kageyama usually sets it more to Asahi and Tanaka rather than to Daichi. On top of that, they also have the responsibility of receiving serves and one thing you might see in common between outside hitters is them receiving the ball and then getting up for the attack. The opposite on the other hand though, although they are in the front lines and have to block, they don't really participate in the serve receive and instead are focused on attacking. That's why you see in the anime that Ushijima sort of like hides in the corner and lets others receive the ball as his primary responsibility is to get a decent run up for an attack. A real world example of this would be Yuji Nishida, the opposite for Japan's volleyball national team and it's pretty much the closest thing you could get to Ushijima. He has ridiculous hops, he has so much fucking power and he's a southpaw. Now that we've covered the player's stats and positions, let's talk about skills and special abilities. This is a skill chart that you can find on HaikyuFandom.com. As you can see, they pretty much are identical when it comes to the stats. Obviously, Ushijima has more power, that was never really a question. Stamina though, however, is debatable and here's why. Yes, visually we do see Ushijima being a stamina monster back in high school where if I'm not mistaken, he played the entire finals against Karasuno and scored more than 40 points and only got blocked once, which is fucking insane. Sakusa, however, I would argue that he's about on par with Ushijima in terms of stamina. The reason I say that is not because I think he can also go gung her from start to finish like Ushijima, although he could, I just can't really prove it since there's no information. But because he's smart, he's efficient, and he understands that volleyball is a sport where endurance is involved. On top of that, any Olympic athlete in any major sport that requires a high level of stamina, such as volleyball, would really need to be a stamina monster anyway, especially someone who's in the starting lineup. That's why I say it's a bit biased to say that Ushijima is a 5 out of 5, while Sakusa is only a 4 out of 5, considering it's a bit hard to prove since we don't really have that much info on Sakusa. Jumping, game sense, and speed are pretty much identical. I don't really have a problem with it. I reckon that's about fair. Maybe I could nitpick the fact that Ushijima has a 5 centimeter jumping reach advantage over Sakusa, but aside from that, it's 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 pretty fair. And now we get to technique. This is the one area that I pick Sakusa over Ushijima. The reason I say that is despite obviously lacking in power in comparison to Ushijima and Kiryu, Sakusa still managed to be one of the top 3 aces in the country despite only being a second year, which would have meant that he had to compromise by having a much better technique and being more technical. One of the best characteristics that Sakusa has is his extremely flexible wrist as we saw when he was stretching before the game against the Adlers, where his palms can literally touch his forearms. His flexible wrist allows him to put a nasty spin on his spike and his serves making them really difficult to block and receive. And the worst part about it is that you think you can block it, you think you can receive it, but the second your arms make contact with the ball, the ball just goes fucking flying into oblivion and you're left wondering what the fuck just happened. On top of all that, Sakusa's spin on the ball is considered to be harder to receive than Ushijima's southpaw spin, which, which really says a lot. If you look at this objectively, Ushijima definitely has more power and can get past blocks through sheer brute force. Sakusa, on the other hand, can get past blockers by putting a nasty spin on the ball. The argument that Ushijima is the better ace because he has more power doesn't really hold up because even though Sakusa has less power, he's still gonna manage to score a point by putting a nasty spin on the ball, which accomplishes the same objective, which is to score a point. And we could argue here all day and talk about how Ushijima can get past blocks better because he has that much power, but if you look at the manga, Sakusa does good a job as Ushijima with the way he spikes the ball, which at the end of the day accomplishes the same objective, which is to score a point. Point. Here's the way I see it, yeah? let's use basketball as an example. I'm sure everyone here knows the rules of basketball. The objective is to score a point. I repeat, to score a a point. Plain, simple, easy, yeah? For example, Ushijima is like Lebron or something, yeah? Bulldozes over everyone, dunks the ball so hard that fucking Nicki Minaj's booty shakes and scores two points. And here comes Sakusa for this example, we'll use Stephen Curry or some other point guard. Goes to the rim, he has some sick handles, he does some fucking 360 spinning shit and lays the ball into the rim. And then he scores two points. The outcome? Both score two points. Do you see what I mean? Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not talking about who's the better player, I'm talking about the scoring and the way they score because people seem to argue that Ushijima is better because he's more powerful and scores points through sheer brute force and forget that Sakusa literally does the same thing but just in a different way and they both achieve the same objective which is to score a point. Now some of you may argue and say that Ushijima spikes are harder to receive but that argument wouldn't hold up as well because as we saw in the manga, Sakusa spikes are equally as difficult. I hope I've made myself clear now that just because Ushijima is the epitome of power does not mean he is a much better scorer than Sakusa. Sakusa just does it in a different way and they both achieve the same objective which is to score a point. So for the spiking department, I'd say they're about equal. 
Before I move on to talk about jump serving, receiving and all that, I just wanted to say if you by any chance disagree with anything that I say or if there's something that you feel you need to say or maybe a counter argument of some sort then please feel free to comment and let me know your thoughts. Moving on, let's talk about jump serving. Jump serving both are at the top of the game as we can see in the game between the Adlers and the Jackals but this one I'm gonna have to say Sakosa is better. Not by a lot but definitely better. The spin that he has on the ball while jump serving is just way too nasty that even Hoshiomi couldn't manage to dig it and he even complimented saying that his serve is disgusting as always. So in the jump serving department I'm gonna have to give it to Sakusa. Receiving is definitely a huge part of volleyball and you definitely need to be an elite receiver if you want to play with the pros. Even though Ushijima doesn't really need to participate in a serve receive unless it's absolutely necessary like when Atomo scored 4 aces in a row and he was forced to participate to stop the streak, Ushijima is definitely a very good receiver and is very consistent in the area but in comparison to Sakusa, I don't even think he comes close. Sakusa is just a god tier receiver and is considered to be one of the Jackal's 3 best defenders alongside Hinata and Inunaki. His specialty however is in his serve defense where he can cleanly bump serves from cannons such as Ushijima and Vance. On top of that, he also managed to cleanly bump Oikawa's serve in their match against Argentina. By the way, at this point it may sound like I'm just sucking off Sakusa but trust me I'm not really being biased, I'm just going over the facts of my research and from reading the manga. Now since I've covered everything, it's time for my verdict, who actually is the better ace? Here is where it gets a bit tricky, do we define the ace as the person who scores the most points or do we define ace as the better player? If we're talking about who scores the most points, Sakusa would win and here's why. Like I've explained before, just because Sakusa isn't as powerful as Ushijima does not mean he doesn't achieve the same objective as him which is to score points. He still does so just in a different way which is the reason I said they're both equal in terms of spiking as they're both as lethal. Now what separates them is that Sakusa is just more likely to score more points in comparison to Ushijima just based on their positions. The outside hitter will undoubtedly get more sets than the opposite and that's just a fact. Even in the manga you can clearly see that Romero and Hoshiomi normally get more sets than Ushijima. If we're talking about the better player then Sakusa would win as well because he's a much better receiver, he has better technique, he's more technical and that's not to undermine Ushijima and what he's capable of. He's a world class player no doubt and he's one of the best players in the country but when you compare him to Sakusa, the stats just say that Sakusa is just much better. It just all comes down to everything Ushijima does, Sakusa can do better. I mean, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but I'm just going off facts. Like I said, if you have any counter arguments or if you disagree with anything that I say, just comment down below so we can have a discussion going on. That's it for me today, guys. Haikyuu is back now, so I'm gonna go ahead and watch it. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.